Hello everyone! Today I will doing demonstration uh, with uh, 3D <coughs> gels. I will using uh, of course the Joanne's Realistic uh, Glass Gel because it's really really new and really special so I want to uh, show you guys how you can work in easily with and uh, I will show you, uh, I hope I'm in the camera, how like a, uh, like a lace kind of little 3D and inside the heart is like a 3D again. It's just so special, super flat actually. And you can do on any kind of color, any kind of surface, uh, gel, acrylic, to gel manicure, I you can but you know make sure the customer pay for it right yes thank you Tan Tani uh, Joanne's product is always uh, up the front because uh, we don't buy it from overseas we make it so always I create gels what I really need what I feel we can working uh, to make more uh, creative job I just want to show uh, because it's not easy to uh, see so I want to let focus on and you can see the dimension on I think it's super cute okay I personally love uh, to make uh, uh, any kind of handmade nail art like charms too and nail jewelry too however if you do something custom that uh, uh, other salon cannot the customer will really impressed and they will never leave you right it's a good marketing tool so i will share <coughs> that one too and how you use different size hi everyone thank you for joining me <laughs> i'm super happy you guys with me so let's do uh, uh, some kind of nail art i will do quickly uh, the base i pre-made some the beige uh, pink color which is nude color i used the 153 from the color it that is a ballerina collection it's a beautiful uh, naturally pink okay so it's a nude color but a pinkish undertone is just uh, the best one i tie up, a best one and <laughs> i used the 158 which is a uh, like a glittery but super flat so after uh, you applied you don't feel it's not a glitter okay and uh, not only silver i realize on the camera maybe you only see the silver but uh, this have uh, this set have eight color one base tone color which is the pinky one and have a peachy one right and between the two color is going to the white so it's like the eight color is leaving beautiful uh, harmony okay and i really used the white one this time too and that is the colored one because that is a must have color and it's good for uh, weddings wedding season good for cr uh, christmas good for spring it's just uh, something like milky uh, effect but it's like super bright uh, glittery and same time it's a gel polish and you don't have to encapsulating just one layer coating and use the top shine and that's it top shine mean top gel on that hi everyone hi karen hi terry you love this collection right i told you i don't even can describe honey i tell you the milky one lisha but honestly you are the person who who we recognize you must have one by one each okay so what is the and i want to you save money okay the 157 is the whitish one it's like a milky whitish one and it's super super uh, bright um, looks like glitter but it's not glitter it's pigment so by this reason it's super flat okay hi cindy you know what guys uh, generally for the collection we have a uh, 20 percentage off if you use the code what on the website but uh, you see Alicia this is why you already buy two of them 
and I just tell you, I give you 30 percentage. <laughs> I give you today 30 percentage uh, off if you need that collection, of course, and any other uh, nail technician who need that collection. Again, it's nude and nude glittery. All is one coating perfectly. Um, is just a really must have. I use multiple time, <coughs> so maybe if someone interested, I will do just applying on the different video, okay? Because I don't wanna spend time for that because I do 3D today, right? So, uh, and at the end, I will tell the the 30 percentage of code, you guys, okay? <coughs> so I applying quickly on the surface. Again, in the camera, I know you already just see only one single color, but is multiple shade of. So it's like a little bit have, uh, I can, I can, uh, you don't see purple, but yes, it's like pinkish inside, golden inside. It's just super cool. On the video, doesn't give enough justice, honestly. And the plus, you see, I apply it to the end and just simple, just pulling, pulling, pulling. You can create easily with the ballerinas a uh, kind of ombre effect okay i do right now a uh, full uh, glittery effect i just tell you how that is the other benefit of the ballerina but the ballerina is doesn't have even similar in any company that kind of super soft and nude based nude pink and nude peach no ugly color inside at all period of the set <clears throat> and it's one, only one one uh, layer so you apply on the gel manicure service you apply the base right cure it apply only one color cure it and top shine if you want for example using different background you can because will be uh, uh, visible underneath the color yes Tiffany I'm coming to the Oregon export I have two classes over there one is will be mixing media that will be 3d uh, design will be uh, one stroke and will be uh, gel painting hand painting that is like uh, the simultan workshop okay and i discounted the price make sure everyone can uh, afford it that is just how i feel and i want to give uh, possibility to everyone and the monday class will be the full class full class hands-on class so i will going true and uh, correcting every uh, movement and that will be my scroll work you can see on the website to the joins uh, dot com under the education it's just super cool so uh i don't know how many tickets have or e even have left any uh, but the monday class will be limited uh, for sure really really limited so let's do that i will applying uh, on that the matte top coat on both okay i'm using right now the pure uh, matte top coat which is hypoallergenic and uh, all joanne's um, top coat gels are non-wipe because we don't wiping and we we don't need uncured uh, gel layer on the customer surface right after the curing time any inhibition layer so that is just put into the lamp and let's cure it and that's it. That makes sense? Those are the ballerina collection. The ballerina collection, eight color. And the eight color is uh, built up with uh, nude colors, the pinky nude and the peachy nude, uh, even if solid color, even if glittery, they are in harmony. And between have one white which is the white glittery, but no solid color of white. You can see on the website, it's just, honey, I think it's the best, best color ever of the nudish pinkish uh, shades, right? So, I turn on the lamp, make sure. Mm -hmm. I just take it out, that one. So, let's playing with the realistic flexi glass okay the realistic flexi glass is a 3d <laughs> kind of 3d gel the realistic gel is uh, you remember we using to forming uh, the petals or anything else 
the realistic essential fluid, okay, and I'm using with brush. The realistic flexi glass, I don't using fluid, I just buy it and I'm using as is. You see, I already used a lot <laughs> because it's super love. The camera doesn't show the color, guys. You can ask uh, who, someone can prove me how amazing because I talking about my uh, gels. But honestly, you never hear about myself like explaining like, oh my God, that is, that is the best in the world color, blah, 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 okay? Because I don't grow up on marketing. However, I cannot describe. The, the ballerina is just born to be perfect if the customer looking for new dish color, uh, even solid color or even glittery one. It's just amazing. So here is a matte. I really love a matte effect too of this, okay? But you can see, sorry, how different on matte and shiny. I'm really so sorry, you guys. You guys don't see the true color of that. You just have to uh, believe me. <laughs> believe me, and uh, I know a lot of uh, you guys already have just just uh, type it yes it's right it's just uh, not exactly the color as in the video so <coughs> go back to the glass so i will take it out okay now right now that is super cool version of how to use so please take attention and of course i will post it if nothing technical uh, issue uh, will be during the live video i will post it on youtube too because always you can come back because uh, it's just super cool and i do one things right now but a lot of design you can do so i go in with the meta to do not using any wooden things because that is firm enough to take out piece of the wood, honestly. Okay, so this is how thick. It's like super thick. That is not acrylic gel. That is not whatever gel. That is something only the Joans have because I made it and recently just launched out. <coughs> so I put it into the bag. Okay, which kind of bag? Honey, any kind of bag right it's just you know you got the product in the bag from joanne's for sure if it's d uh, dusty or ugly don't use it okay if you want doing this kind of design and you're ordering the glass just give me in the note give me paper gi give me foil and i will send foil for that okay because have to be clean if any dusty any hair any lint over there you will squeeze in and everything will be inside so this is how I do the nail art. Isn't it fun? <laughs> so I will teach you who love cooking or actually who love baking. Please give me heart if you baking. If not, I teach you honey today. I teach you. Okay, first, when you see, I want to tell you because you will surprise. When I, when I take it out, it's like a matte surface, okay? no worry no worry if your uh, glo gloves is not dirty no worry okay put it into the foil between the two foil okay and immediately when i just squeezed out will be totally clear you see how change the effect it's with glass deadly glassly uh, shiny things Okay, who can baking just laughing on me? Who cannot baking, honey? You have to learn it, okay? A lot of good cookies have in the world and you cannot waiting someone just supplying you. You can cooking yourself. So, if you don't made ever, pretty sure your grandma did. That is the metal stick. I told you always I'm using the metal stick. So baking together. You remember grandma is do the pie dough for example okay the dough for pizza or pie or whatever and put it on the wood uh, plate or something and with the rolling with something wooden stuff okay honey 
I don't learn English how to bake it, so you have to understand and can imagine, okay? So that will be the little wooden things. So I putting on and press down and rolling for for one direction, like up, upward or forward. You know what I mean? Forward, forward, forward. You see already more much bigger. However, it's thick. Honey, we do not make nail art thick, big, chunky piece because customer doesn't want that, okay? So the next, I putting down at the center, press down and with pressure, you rolling, 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 rolling one direction backward to me. I hope I'm in the camera, okay? So I just rolling, 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 gentle, slowly, whatever. Actually, you can do that ahead to make a pressed out sheet between the two foil. However, make sure you cover it and doesn't got UV light. Look at how big already. Okay, what you see right now, it's uh, from the round shape started be a long shape, okay? I want go back to round, okay? So, this is how I do up and down. Right now, I have to this direction and that direction. And because I cannot do pressure like this direction, I just turn around, okay? Put down, I hope I'm in the camera. And again, I'm going up, 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 rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling till, okay? And I'm going this direction too, to rolling, to rolling. So this is how we baking, honey. I bake a lot. Actually, not this time because I'm super busy, but I really love to baking because not just when you eating is when you making and the smell from the mm, oven when coming out is just mmm, especially on the cold days. You know, like winter season, mm, a good pie, cinnamon smell, you know, when you baked. Oh my God, the whole house is just loaded with that. Okay. Always check it how thin. I want like super thin, honey. Super duper thin. Okay. Again, customer, all customer is want a thin and more sophisticated. No one want a big chunky piece. So make sure it's super thin. Okay. For example, if you find, right now I just teaching how you bake, okay? However, if the shape you don't made perfectly, because I have experience how you bake, okay? For example, here have a zigzag. Here is a missing like a triangle, okay? How you do? I pre-made to make quicker. For example, oh, and, uh, whatever, I can do that because here already the triangle because sometimes it doesn't have, and I made a head one to make sure I can show. So the excess quantity, I rolling down to halfway. And to fill it that part, you have to press, press, press this direction, stop, press, press, press this direction, press mean press down and roll, 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 okay? And down again, okay, let's do it together. So from the up, I rolling down to squeeze the gel to down a little bit this direction, a little bit that direction, because I want make like as pa as many. Th so I wanna kind of round the shape, no missing like triangle. Okay. You see, right now the triangle is just teeny tiny, okay? Especially if you need the bigger surface. I do right now everything big to make sure you see. Usually I do teeny tiny like this size, okay? What size you will need? For this rose gold version, okay? This rose gold version I build up with the frame 011 which is rose gold frame shape 
that is have inside and for this you need to cut it approximately that size of the I just show both them I try to see it's visible or not okay approximately this size you will need okay if you're doing different uh, shape like for example I made already the frame uh, 010 okay that is beautiful lacy ended I did this size of the shape of the gel okay you see the difference because that is more curvy all right it it's not on the valentine sale valentine sale i give you right now a sales code just for you and just for today usually that kind of flash uh, discount what i give is just depending how i wake up okay and usually it's just for one day like today and because tomorrow i will post it on youtube i give to the subscribers too all right yes you can add uh, glitter too but you don't have to add glitter <coughs> because don't forget it the flexi i have already the glittery one <coughs> i just created that for and you can do with the flexi too or mixed with the flexi the one two three four five uh, colors yes i will give you sales code uh, today at the uh, around at the end because we just make it so, uh, it was not planning usually i just you know what you want to buy it okay i give <laughs> so right now uh sherry make the code for you guys okay now let's do that because uh i wanna mm -mm. I, I cutting right now, okay? How are you cutting? First, most of the time I just take it off the extra foil because it's just bothering me, okay? It, honey, any kind of scissor, okay? From the kitchen table. And I start uh, cutting a shape of the heart. Okay, that is super big. Uh, version of the heart because i told you i just made super big and the waste right now the gel because i want you guys to see well okay so don't do that <coughs> because you know customer paid just for the the gel what she walking out with everything what you toss it that is your loss that is your expense but not about the surface and they cut in kind of heart shape doesn't have to be perfect okay because I will cutting more smaller always I try to make uh, more so smaller but because I have to check how is the size always I put it here because I want around the little uh, frame like keep same uh, extra quantity of the gel of the sheet okay so every part will be same so i will just cut it do not use the manicure scissor you can use manicure scissor but you don't using for manicuring right because will kill the the manicure scissor uh, will be not sharp uh, anymore so i have manicure scissors for manicuring and i have for this kind of uh, cutting okay i just make approximately looks like same size like a frame okay and right now uh oh i lost it and right i uh, going inside to create like a little doesn't have to be super nice uh heart shape okay because i will press anyway and we lose the heart shape let's see that 
Okie dokie. So what I'm doing right now, because both sides have the foil, right? Are you with me? Both sides have a foil. I remove one side. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And I lay down, lay it down. Oh, I try to be centered and press down, press down. Not too much, just gentle. Okay, and right now, hmm, better if you use the metal stick. I take it off the next foil, which is the upper foil. Here we are. Okay, I just touch, touch it down. And right now I press it in this little cute lacy heart things. Oh, it's not easy because I try to uh, playing to the camera angle, which is not a normal angle as like a salon. And of course I always don't see exactly what I'm doing. So it's just the routine and the age <laughs> can help to me, okay? I make position and a little bit I pressing down. Actually not a little bit, press it down, honey. Press it down, okay? I don't fix it yet, the heart, so no worry if it's move. Yes, honey, thank you so much. It's help. Today is the first day when I start already on my glasses on my head. <laughs> so, till that, this is how it looks like, okay? And that point, with the metal stick, I squeeze the center and I'm going under. Like here, under, 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 and I pick it up. Create a little tunnel, okay? Next one, under, 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 pick it up. Okay? And next one, I press down first. Up, up, up. Okay, and I'm going to the other side and I try to do approximately same as the other part. If not same, that's totally okay too. Do not stress out. Because from sideway, they cannot see both sides same time, just only one. And have to be kind of similar, like wavy. Okay, so what happened? Because it's transparent, you don't see maybe well. So I'm going under and I open it up. This is how I created that kind of wavy effect. Okay, just because it's transparent, for sure you don't see. And because this flexi glass is super uh, uh, firm and doesn't move no matter what, you are able to cheating and take it off and put back the I told you the heart is doesn't fixed yet I just pressed it down again and elevate really really well and between I press down mm -hmm. I'm going over where is elevate or press down Elevate or press down and elevate and press down and elevate. Okay, I think is pretty cool. So right now what I'm doing I painting with white, okay? I will using the color it 018 which is a gel polish. No, oh, mm -hmm. that is the black one. i looking for the white one. Here we are. So I'm using the 18, which is the white one. And no uh, uncured gel surface after you cured into the lamp. So reduce thick layer. And that is important to me too. I'm using the fine shader. 
and gentle doesn't have to be a first time white okay but gentle I try to painting a little bit now right now will be not so nice that's totally okay okay it's come out like a super gentle super teeny tiny quantity don't fill it with white gel I just want to make sure that point I can see beautifully wavy or too much or you can press down more or elevate more okay for control so I just almost I just touching okay okay I wipe it off the excess because it's just don't need and this point I put it into the lamp no is isn't cured yet yes that is the 18 the white is the 18 so what else I will need I will need builder gel for sure do, 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 do. Okay, a little builder. Use an, uh, any kind of builder which is super transparent. I'm using special. I cannot tell you yet. <laughs> <clears throat> but any kind of builder is will be okay. Just coating with top shine. So she's back. And just a little bit. I'm using the perfect line brush mm -hmm. and I just because it's matte the surface underneath I just touch it the background uh, of the inside of the heart make sure you feel it's tiny quantity at first okay and when you touched and wet everywhere you grab the little bit bigger quantity and add on the surface have to be beautifully self-leveling gel if not self-leveling will doesn't work so make sure 100 percent self-leveling the gel what you're using because you don't want ugly hard surface okay right now i just filled so let's cure it now, right now I fixed because it's clear this is why I painted with white I will uh, quickly uh, coating the white again so will we pop up more I'm sorry guys <laughs> but it's because it's Valentine I want a little bit more girly and you know what I mean <clears throat> And I will show closer a little bit. So she's out. I hope it's good, good. Okay. Right now I'm painting with white, so we'll be, will be more visible okay i just don't do only one time because uh, i don't want how uh, you fill the gap okay have to be like a lacy wavy things around the heart okay right now more visible i'm in the camera <gasps> i'm sorry I'm here 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 I am so I just painting the surface with white do not use the Picasso for this reason because I will using the Picasso too again and I need the color differences if you touch the little silver uh, frame before you put it into the lamp you can wash back with your brush <coughs> 
for example take it off the axis and just wipe it on the surface mm -hmm. I think it's more visible already than before just retouch okay and she go into the lamp so what as I will doing as I told you I will using the white one too the Picasso because that is more whiter okay and I need uh, to play with uh, the color uh, differences it's give extra dimension okay so that is the Picasso hi Kristen how are you how is your day Yes, I will doing different kind of the three dimensional uh, design on the workshop. The workshop is like full class, okay? Just uh, we working simultan. So I do one petal, you do one petal if you want. You don't have to practicing. You can just watching, uh, add the note and drawing if you want. But if you wanna try, uh, you can do it uh, with me, okay? So she's back and I'm using, oh, I put it something on the floor. That's okay. And I'm using the perfect line brush and I add a teeny tiny contour. I try to playing to the camera. That is good right now in zoom. Okay, so I just touch it the little, uh, like a, I told you I create the tunnel okay so the contour to the tunnel okay not big quantity teeny tiny quantity just because it's super white it will be more visible believe me will be visible I will do photo shoot shot or whatever you know what I mean so you can see uh, as how it looks like because I know camera is just doesn't uh, and I tell you I have really good camera but sometimes the color is totally different I see the back uh, uh, monitor so I see what you guys seeing this is why sometimes oh my god I'm out of the camera <laughs> and I already see the color is not same I already see uh, because it's shining or because of white or black background is sometimes just just doesn't doesn't good so I will do for sure picture because that is super cool honestly mm. okay and everywhere when you do like for example here looks like the little things is like broke so you can make little line everywhere where is not perfectly tuna shape to create purpose why okay and you can continue a little bit pointing if you want mm -hmm. make wider if you want to make harmonically uh, symmetrical okay I think I already already uh, started uh, uh, become visible but I will do more three dimension and no worry, no worry. It's just I really love that technique and it's honestly it's so easy. <coughs> really super easy. Because you just have to buy the frame. I use right now the frame number ten, okay? But I will using the next one like that one. It's just super good to Valentine. And those are on sale too. If you go to the website, thejoans.com, you will find on the main page a collection of the Valentine's Day items and general code have to those two. So stock up with that. That is a silver lace 
zero one okay that is the other the rose gold what i used on that is the frame 11 okay but honestly we have a gold too which is the 19 frames with gold same as i doing right now just you can do of gold if you want right so <clears throat> what else i will doing <coughs> i will doing a little shadowing you know me i love more dimensional how you name the flexi the flexi is the glass the flexi we have five colors right those are transparent with uh, like uh, like looks like glittery but not is like more like aurora uh, effect and colored one like peachy or black version <coughs> i'm sorry and that one the glass one is no number because that is unique okay so uh, just look flexi glass but flexi we have uh, six uh, five plus the glass so it's not difficult to find it gold frame you don't have honey it's on sale it's on sale and this beautiful little lacy uh, version it's just beautiful and curved already so you don't have to playing with too much right Ooh. I will be using my little metal tool to take out some of the chocolate, Picasso chocolate, sorry, Picasso chocolate, <coughs> wipe it off, wipe it off perfectly, as I teach always, and I will be using Yeah, the flex they have five colors uh, and it's like aurora colors it's like so pretty so beautiful that is the newest uh, sister of the flexi uh, ones the flexi is like a realistic gel it's like a clay super form gels but after cure is still flexible so when you make the rose for example uh, and you squeeze after cure okay so the customer wear the customer can squeeze it and when it release the rose will pick up the original shape as was cured so if the flower was original this way and cured after you can squeeze it and when you release will pick up the original it's just so special material and it's no other period so and I using little acetone because I need super teeny tiny and I have to wash sometimes for sure okay so I'm using the builder and make mixing again I using different material you can use right now the builder or you can use the matte top coat you know what I use the matte top coat because you don't have yet okay I will release soon is a magic 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 new nail art material <laughs> for that no real realistic essential the flexi doesn't need realistic essential at all and that is come from France and France and really pricey so don't waste the flexi need but the re uh, uh, the realistic need but the flexi doesn't need so I'm using right now the matte top coat again have to be for sure is not uh, no wipe and I mixing okay you remember I told you I always use different color for different uh, shadowing okay mm -hmm. for example right now I add a little bit of the black especially if I find it I find it Hey Rosemary, thank you for joining me to everyone. <clears throat> I add a little bit of the black, okay? Really super teeny tiny. Sorry, I'm using the black, the Picasso black. <clears throat> because I need a shade. Sorry, I just have to drink uh, the juice, one second. 
I'm sorry, the microphone is on, microphone is on me, but I feel like dried out my <laughs> throat, so I don't want to, eh, eh, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry. So I'm back. Again, I add a little bit of the back, black. Please make sure a little bit, okay? I mix the chocolate and the black. Add matte top coat, create a special shade for that. Wipe it off. And first, I add a teeny tiny, and I'm going underneath. I try to be under the camera. And I'm going with the point, this is why I'm using a fine shader, which is uh, natural hair is important because I will using the acetone too. You remember, Henny told you, do not touch acetone, uh, any synthetic brush, okay? Because you will kill it. And the supply will be happy because you must have to buy. So that is natural hair brush. So I just gentle touch, <coughs> go into and touch it. Pick up a little bit more. I'm going under, especially the bottom part, because that have more shadow than the upper one. Okay, and I'm using just a teeny tiny point, okay? Honey, it doesn't have gel on my brush. That is the biggest problem when I see uh, someone using too much. Picasso is hyper pigmented. No other than that. And by this reason, make sure you don't use too much. <coughs> Just teeny tiny. Because I don't want, it's a lovely whitish co uh, nail art. Customer doesn't want a dark, but light, n uh, nice bright light doesn't have um, without shadow. Always have shadow. You know, it's same like uh, you don't know how thirsty you are till you don't lost in the desert, right? Okay, maybe sounds weird. It's, it sounds better in Hungarian or in <laughs> my mother language, but you know what I mean. It's must have. So I add and always see back underneath. I add more because I've created more antique, okay? I'm using over, uh, only the acetone when I apply too much. This is why I don't apply one time too much because you have to wash back, right? So I just applying. You see, it's created a little uh, kind of shadow. So I just touch it to make smoothening out. Okay. And we'll cure together with uh, the builder uh, gel because I add again, just gentle painting with small quantity. Okay. So first is really small quantity. I just pick up a little drop with my perfect line brush and pull it, pull it, pull it to make sure the whole, uh, whole heart shape will be wet. Okay. Again, I'm using a special gel. I just will release maybe next week or after week. It's uh, not a uh, builder gel, it's not uh, gel polish, it's <laughs> special. And I'm using that with purpose, but till that you can use uh, the Builder gel. Just uh, make sure it's 100% self-leveling, because if not, will be not smooth and glass-like. Okay, okay. So right now the whole surface is wet. Mm -hmm. And right now I grab a generous amount and I touch down. And I grab a generous amount, touch down, because the heart shape is like built up like that. And I peel it, pull it, add more, 
because the gel will be just go over where is the wet layer okay I want here more higher okay and let's cure soft gel that will be soft gel but that is not available yet maybe next week or after week that is for just special things I, I don't want to spo spoiling <coughs> and I'm using like this too but not developed for that reason because it's like doesn't have self leveling like that any kind of gel any kind of builder or rubber or whatever gel it's really really special made for a purpose and uh, that is the side effect <laughs> how it's uh, deadly self leveling and make beautiful dome shape and why not i using for that right so i add one more because every time when i add more i do fresh wet layer just where is the heart pull it pull it pull it because you remember any other extra quantity what i will add at the end will going where i painted so i just touch the surface with wet uncured gel maybe you can use the uh, the fine shader brush more easier than the perfect line for this painting and right now I add one ball to the heart one ball to the heart other side and gentle let laying down and because it's create this dome shape it will be beautiful and glass like before I put it in, I just make sure I pull it here. I want more higher. And even if I touch the surface, will be perfect uh, curved because of the formulation. And I put it into the lamp. Can you tell us what color gel do you use? What color gel? Mm -mm. I used as a base, you asking? Because I used... Uh, right now the ballerina from the ballerina collection one is uh, the, the pinkish color and one is the whitish the whitish is mm, the 157 i don't know is in the camera because it's holographic okay that is the whitish one and was the background is white and uh, the nudish version is I use the 153 as a base because uh, that is the from the ballerina the solid color ballerina have only two solid color the peachish and the pinkish version and from the p pink till the peach is going and between will be white so all color is in harmony and glittery and here is the peachish glittery version okay those was the color i hope you asking that to any other color i just use the gel polish to whitening the the fluffy i don't know the lacy things and i use the 018 oh where is again i always lost something mm -hmm. anyone see whatever 018 okay from the color it here we are okay I color it 018 because i need different tone of the white okay and to contouring i use the picasso white and to shadowing i use the chocolate from the picasso and the black from the picasso and i mixed with the matte uh, so here we are i just try don't move so you can i hope you can see and i'm in the camera and just moving super slow so you can see it's like really antique lacy things and right now I just do the necklace quickly okay because we need necklace 
right the easiest way and always i try to i can do a lot of things to make necklace but i try to teach you as easy as possible so of course uh, i'm using that uh, the japanese uh, stickers which is the the silver one <coughs> and i using the metal tool going underneath la 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 you see la 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 it's really important to don't uh, mess up your sticker because this way you can use the whole sheet and this lot is lot honey if you try to take it off elevate with scissor you always uh, broke the silver line okay i touch down at the center just like that a little bit more closer to the center mm -hmm. okay so i touch down and because it's, you are able to curving so gently pull it and laying down with curved and voila okay you are able to curving that sticker It's really important because if you do smile line or whatever, it's uh, it's really uh, helpful. Oh, client love the peach today. Your client love the peach one? Yes, the ballerina is just something. Uh, uh, it's just really really special. I never see this kind of nude nudish pinkish color which is just good for always <laughs> it's just really always and any kind of skin uh, tone so beautiful on super pale color beautiful or darker color uh, no matter which kind of underneath color have you remember I, I talked before it's I picking the color after when I see the customer skin color undertone not skin color undertone so that is Jolly Joker set okay i touch down and i will curving but i don't touch down on the good pace right right now it's good so i pull it laying down and same time i'm curving and i just take it out okay squeeze on the surface gentle with your finger Mm -hmm. isn't it so nice and easy you can curving easily okie dokie <clears throat> now right now i have to coating that okay because the whole surface is matte however because i add the sticker i forget it add before if you add before not not a problem but i add right now i have to coating because it's super flat but must have the coating <coughs> so i just simple add the matte top coat because the base is matte still matte and yes the silver will be matte no worry no worry sweetie no worry i will take care of it sometimes just happen if you change your mind and i add later is not a problem but make sure it's wearable, you know? If I just do the demo to you, yeah, it's so nice, it's shiny, and you try it, customer will lose the sticker, right? So I always try to do realistic uh, education to you, as I doing on the customer nail, right? I just did quick cure because I don't wanna waste the time, right? And I'm using again the perfect line and I will using the glue gel pen because that is cure to shiny and transparent and thin enough to drawing on the surface because I need a flat surface I don't want three-dimensional so I just touch it going on the silver surface okay do not apply uh, any kind of material which give uh, raised up. 
because I will painting on and that will be make trouble. So I just touch it. It's super thin and easy to painting with. Okay, just flash curing. Just till I uh, add like Swarovski on. You can add Swarovski on, or you can use a. Uh, Japanese studs like a uh, studs 12 is the half round dome shaped teeny tiny Japanese studs Which is always I'm using both. Okay. First of all, if you add full Swarovski make sure you uh, Calculate the price right <coughs> and uh, Sorry, I just always I read back and after forget the rolling Sorry, I have to drink. So, I always use both because that is just expensive and sometimes it's just too much, okay? The little uh, Japanese studs is always give me uh, more, uh, like more texture on the surface and I can feel the, the part. Don't use just only Swarovski. Here we are, and I still using the glue gel pen to add the Swarovski, and I will using the Picasso gel to add uh, whitish uh, things like that. Okay, so here will be Swarovski. So I add one dot to here. I circle it to make bigger a little bit, but I don't want too big, right? And here too. A little bit wider than the, the silver line. And I add here too, one more. And I add here too. Okay. Just make sure the white come back, you know, not just silver, because that is a whitish design. Okay, on this demonstration, I show multiple tricks. Okay, you don't have to do the full or exactly that. I just try to share as many as I just realize I oh, I want to share that one or this one. So at the center, because I save the curing time, even the flesh curing time, I saving. I add immediately the center uh, which is a little bit bigger Swarovski but not too big okay because I don't want uh, that overpowering my whole design okay so I just add that size okay not bigger flash cure Flash cure is just because I strongly recommend to flash curing the customer nail too. Even if you add, 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 add multiple, you know, she going into the lamp and talking and, whoo, that is so pretty, whatever. And the, the Swarovski can move. So always when you add one side, uh, flash cure it and add the other side, flash cure it. That makes sense? It's just securing uh, uh, those and I add the smaller, that is a uh, diamond touch uh, Swarovski, which is a little bit more extra than the silver one. Or you can add the teeny tiny metal balls, okay? That is the 0 0.8 size. Usually uh, companies sell that one everywhere, okay? That is the 0 0.6 size, which is miniature already, okay? And that is the 0.4 size. That is not, that is what they sell, micro, mini, whatever. That is really, really nano size. It's depending which kind of design I'm doing. So you can use metal balls too, but I don't want uh, combining right now because it's just too much. Again, I don't want overpowering. So I add the drop, drop, and here one more drop, okay, for miniatures. One, 
two, three. Okay, flash curing one side. You can use the flash curing just a teeny tiny lamp for the Yango lamp. I just doesn't have on my table, okay? Come back and teeny tiny dot, teeny tiny dot, teeny tiny dot. This is why I really love that uh, glue gel pen because, oh, here, so you can use the flashlight like that, okay? Because if the customer moving can uh, lose the Swarovski. I love that one because you can use it as a brush or you can use it as that thing. And that is just a house, okay? That is just a holder. The gel, what is inside, is securing superly. So fixed on the surface and no wipe. That means you don't have to wipe it or top coat it or whatever we did before. Right now, you just apply it, cure it, customer pay and leave. And really important in order, pay and just after leave. Because sometimes I see on the Facebook how <laughs> customer asking the nail and they just walking out. And I said, that is terrible. That is terrible. So make sure pay and leave. So what I did, mentioned just flash cure it for a couple seconds and after you can continue the other side that makes sense and maybe i add a teeny tiny over there too do you guys have any question do that because right now i will put into the lamp and the teeny tiny Here we are. So I put it into the lamp. Those are the 0 0.4 size. It's metal. It's not, a, uh, it's not uh, the plastic one or glassy one. That is metal. You can see, I just try. You see? And it, that is metal. Mm -hmm. I hope it's visible. Okay. Just this nano size. Okay. Some company have the 0 06, but most of the company just sell the 0 08 and they tell micro size or mini size. But the 0 0.4 is, I don't really, it's like terrible expensive. <laughs> so I don't think so. They check, uh, they just advertising. You can try it and measuring uh, both. That is the micro micro. Sometimes when I doing uh, like painting nail art, like uh, uh, one stroke, for example, like this one, and I wanna add metal ball, honey. All uh, this kind of hand painted uh, design will overpowering the big metal ball. So I must have to use uh the metal one and the this nano size okay yeah uh, that is how i can show is not a glass one that is metal one so here we are here is two version again i used for that if you want a rose gold i used for the necklace the rose gold one the teeny tiny one i used uh the frame 11 which is rose gold heart shape i already used too much so have i think it's 25 pieces come okay so i use that one and uh, of course the flexi glass and the white one i used the flexi glass again i use the frame which is the number 10 okay if you need gold we have a gold and today is on sale not today is still valentine i think uh so it's uh, 19 is the gold version of the frame and i use the the of course i use the gel polish 018 as one color and have to be different color more whiter which is the picasso white okay i did contouring and i did the that too okay okay and i use the picasso uh, chocolate and the black to make uh, shadowing okay because I want more antique and teeny tiny Swarovski but again 
You don't have to use Swarovski because it's expensive. You use less or whatever. Uh, you can use Japanese studs. Okay, because that is shiny, half uh, like dome shape, half round, and looks like a Swarovski. So make a metal effect. It's really, really cool. Okay, so I will give, oh, and of course, don't forget it. I use the Ballerina collection, which is from the pink till the nude, the peachy, the two sides, and between a glittery and the white. So start with the solid color, but it's like, I, I cannot describe, it's just the best, best nudish pink ever. So start with the 153 and go through and till the peach, which is solid, and between have this kind of beautiful nudish, pinkish, glittery color, including the white. And I give a 30 percentage code till, uh, oh, Sherry is nice. So till Thursday, January 27, midnight, okay? If you use the code, my name, Henny, H like hotel, E like elephant, and like Nancy, I like Indianapolis <laughs> and the number three zero. Okay, so Henny 30 code, you will get 30 percentage of the whole collection, which is eight color, is the must have nudish pinkish for summer, for Valentine's Day, for wedding season. Okay, so those are uh, some of the colors and uh, don't forget it, the flexi, realistic flexi is unique, only just one. Uh, thank you to type it. <laughs> thank you to sharing, yeah. So that is uh, clear and super thick. You don't have to use uh, any fluid width and it's flexible, okay? So that is my strong recommendation too. And if you are in the website, don't forget it. Generally, we have right now code, discount code, like 20... 25 percentage all Valentine's Day's items which is if you go to the front page or uh, you can see one click Valentine's Day's items and you can see all things included lot of things colors gel polish uh, those are in on sale too so save money okay thank you so much you uh, joined to me and uh, I wish uh, you have a wonderful weekend and see you on the next demonstration and share with me if you uh, got inspiration and you use those. Ciao.